University of Washington and to my surprise my biggest inspiration there was studying dance with Joan Skinner. Joan Skinner was the head of the dance department and she taught a method called Skinner releasing to train dancers. We learned how to move in an altered state using imagery to shape the way we danced and I also discovered space space within my body, space outside my body, space caressed my body. I was in relationship to space. About 12 years ago, I came into a space of great expansiveness in my life and I needed to change my medium. I needed to quit working in those heavy, solid materials like concrete. And I had worked with chicken wire, wire netting before, um, in, as armatures for my pieces, but I really wanted to use them, use it as a final medium. Because I love the way the wire netting figures arc and twist and swirl in space. But one problem with, the, with using chicken wire is that it's so transparent that it's very difficult for the viewer to see the surface, the outer surface of the piece. You tend to look straight through. So I solved that problem in various ways. And one way I did was by using this wire screening, um, like in screen doors, pieces of wire screening that I crumpled up and shoved inside and under the outer surface of the, of the contour of the figure. And in that way, it's uh, still quite transparent and translucent, but it has a more of a solidity so that the viewer's eye can rest on the surface of the piece. About 12 years ago, at the same time in 2009, I moved to Bellingham because I met and got married to my husband, who was a former dean and retired philosophy professor uh, from Fairhaven College. Um, he was also a dancer. And it was a really giddy, joyful period in my life. But very soon he got Alzheimer's disease. And so these pieces are all made in the last five years of his life, between 2014 when he was diagnosed and 2019 when he died. And after he died, I realized that the piece, the group as a whole was about loss, but I wanted to do redemption too in the piece. And so I decided that I wanted to use uh, dancers in the space. I got some good advice from Pam Kunz, who has a local dance troupe in town called Kunz and & Company, and through her I connected with three dancers from Western who have been dancing in the space. And, um, and I love how they have created an overlay. And so the pieces themselves are quite somber, as you can see, they have gray steel. And so what I, what I sense about it is that the installation is a somber one and your role is one of, it's like the loss of a redemption. So your role is one of aliveness and spontaneity and humor and playfulness and um, possibility. So that's what you're representing in this installation. The song that I'm using is called Are You Shy? It's by Rebecca Hansen, who was a singer and a performance artist in the um, Seattle Burlesque movement in the 80s. Uh, and it, the piece, the song really works for me because uh, my husband wasn't shy at all, but when he started declining from Alzheimer's, he did become retiring, and I was the assertive one. But I love what the song uh, expresses about um, kind of a teasing, playful, 
affectionate, sensual quality. So it really works for what I'm trying to express in this space. Shy? Do you see that I like you, baby, more than any other guy? Ooh, you're so lovely. I can hardly wait to jump your so shy It scares me just to look you in the eye Ooh, you're so frightening I can hardly wait to jump your Ooh, you're so Contagious.